Hey booktube, um, I'm here to do a review of um, the book I read for number during March Mystery Madness, which is Agatha Christie's Five Little Pigs. Um, this book was originally um, released as Murder in Retrospect, which um, isn't a bad title. Um, it probably is a better title than Five Little Pigs. But um, I understand why it's called Five Little Pigs, but whatever. Okay. So, um, like I said in my um, Try a Chapter video, this starts off with this chick named Carla who comes to see Poirot and um, she wants him to solve a murder case that's already been solved 16 years prior in which her mother murdered her father. And the reason why she wants this done is because she's about to be married and she's afraid, or her husband's afraid, or they're both afraid, that if they ever got into an argument or something, she would try to kill him because it's hereditary or in the blood or something like that. Um, but she believes that her mother is completely innocent. And um, Poirot can't talk to the mother because the mother was, um, or died in prison um, a couple years after being in. And um, so he needs to try to figure out um, who was there at the time of the murder. Um, her father was a painter, and he was poisoned. <clears throat> um, so Poirot talks to both of the um, defense and prosecution attorneys. Um, one of them, he had to talk to um, somebody else at the... Uh, law firm because the dude had retired or died or something like that. <clears throat> so anyway, he gets the names of the people who were there when this happened. And here is the big twist. It's not a twist. There were five of them. There was, um, besides the husband and wife, um, there was a stockbroker dude who was the guy's best friend, the painter's best friend. His younger brother, who was an amateur chemist. The um, teenage um, half-sister of um, the mother. Um, the governess who took care of Angela, who is the um, half-sister, and um, Elsa, the model, um, who um, the husband was painting. And so he talks to, you know, the people he, that I already said he talked to, and um, for the most part, everyone else is in other places because it's been 16 years and time has gone by so the next part of the book the book's in three parts um, that's the first part the second part of the book is freaking epistolary and if you've been watching my videos lately you know how sick to death I am of epistolary works. Um, but all of these people 
wrote long ass letters back to Poirot about what happened that day. And so you have these five people explaining the events of that day. And then, um, in typical Poirot fashion, um, the last part of the book, the conclusion, was um, Poirot bringing everyone together to reveal his findings, whether or not he thinks anyone but the mother um, murdered the father, or, um, yeah, that, that's it, if he thinks anyone else did it, and if so, who? Um, and that is all I will tell you about that. Now, here's the thing. Um, Agatha Christie could write. No one's ever said she couldn't. But I've tried to read other books by Agatha Christie. Um, that, like, and then there were none is classic, and that's, like, her high watermark. But, like, I've tried to read Miss Marple books, and I just can't get into them. Um, but the Poirot books, I love them. I think he's so clever, and um, I just love the character. But for the majority of this book, he's missing, because it's letters recounting what had happened that day. So I was really bummed out, just to be honest. I was totally bummed out um, reading the middle part of this book. Um, and then when we get to the conclusion and you get to see Poirot at work, um, it's amazing again. And it's funny because, like, I don't want to say what he does, because he does it in every book, but um, he'll go through all these hoops to try to make somebody in the room feel like he thinks they did it. And then he's like, no, I don't think he did it. And then he just continues on talking. There, there was a reason why he did it in this one, but a lot of times he just does that um, almost to like show how smart he is. You know, like, how how clever the mister is. Um, but it's just like... There's a weird similarity between Poirot and Sherlock, where... Sherlock Holmes, that is, in case you didn't know who I was talking about. Where... They just want to solve a puzzle. And really, at the end of the day, I don't think they care if anyone ever gets caught by the police and prosecuted. If they do, fine, you know. Um, but I think, like, justice isn't what drives these two characters. It's just trying to see if they can figure it out. Um, and when Sherlock does it, it's kind of snooty, I guess, is the best way to put it. But when Poirot does it, there's um, not a sense of sadness, but like... Like, with Sherlock, you want to high-five him, but when Poirot figures it out, you kind of want to just give him a hug or something. I don't know what it is. Um, to me, he is just a very tragic character, and I haven't read all of the Poirot books, so I don't know if we ever, like, learn more about him. Um, 
but there's a part of me that just really feels that there's a lot of times when you're reading stuff you can't pick up a backstory without knowing certain things you know but there are some writers who could write a character that they don't have to tell you anything about a character's backstory and you already know it because they're written so well and that's one of the things that saves this book for me um, because I was just um, really not um, feeling the epistolary so anyway, let me know what you think of this book down below, if you liked it, if you didn't. Um, what are your favorite Poirot books? Because I would love to try to throw a couple more in. Um, we will be starting Death in the Clouds on Saturday the 6th, so um, th that'll be cool. If you're going to join that group, read the link in the Discord down below. But um, if there's any other... Uh, Poirot books um, that kind of is there any that deal with him like personally that would be interesting to know um, but yeah just let me know down below what you think and I will see you later